Girl, I am Danny Bonanucci, and I am proud to be on TV Guide Channel, America's TV Guide headquarters. I'm Teresa Strauss, and I'm proud that Danny's proud to be here. I recently sat down with Danny's former TV brother, David Cassidy, and we talked about his book, Could It Be Forever? My Story, and his new CD, David Cassidy Part 2, The Remix. Take a look-see. I already have your book and your CD. Oh, you do? Yes, and I've enjoyed them both. Thank you. I think it's hard for people to realize now that this was, your fan club was bigger than the Beatles, bigger than Elvis. Mm -hmm. You were selling out Dodger Stadium. Yes, I did. And, yeah. and it's very relevant to me and to the people who were there, but the right. world was a very different place. Sure. And because there were three uh, channels, basically, three networks, there weren't 197 of which we are one of. An average episode of the Partridge Family mm. probably had 30, 40 million viewers at uh, its height. Exactly. Which would be way more than Weekly. American Idol. Weekly. Yeah, okay. I, I, I would say way more, but we weren't on three times a week. Absolutely. And I know that you worked with one of my uh, former brothers. Um, yes, Danny, Danny Bonaduce. And he actually told me that at a certain point at the height of your fame, there was a real problem just getting you from point A to point B. Just getting in the studio. Right and out and getting in my home which was a little difficult so because fans people were outside. Camp, yeah yeah they were sleeping outside and really it was ridiculous yeah mm. you write about this in your book your personal taste was towards Jimi Hendrix and, mm. and more psychedelic stuff and you were doing this more bubblegum sound mm. and at the time you thought this isn't really me well you know it wasn't really me it was the it was designed for the family and the character that I played the description of my character in the Partridge family was Keith, lead guitarist, songwriter, and fixes the bus. <laughs> that was it. Do you Absolutely. have a favorite Partridge Family song? Uh, it's very difficult to say because there are so many great ones, honestly. There are great songs. I think I Love You is a brilliant song. That's a great song. song. It's a great song. At, and it does it ages very well. Uh, yeah, well, a great song usually does. The music that is on the new CD, it is a very contemporary approach, but paying homage to the songs. Right. They're great songs, like I Think I Love You, I Woke Up in Love This Morning, I'll Meet You Halfway, Cherish. Cherish is the word, more than I and they took a little microcosm of what was going on with David outside. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. I was playing to like 30 and 40,000 people in stadiums. And the Partridge family, when I would go back to work on the Partridge family, There'd be like the same 15 extras in the, in the audience <laughs> going. <laughs> and some of them were like 65, 70 years old. Danny will tell you. Oh, oh Danny yeah. will tell me a lot. Oh, yes, that oh, reminds yeah, he me. He'll tell me a lot of things. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Yes, but he considers you, you know, somebody like a family member. He considers you guys close. Well, you know, it's odd because every time he gets arrested, <laughs> people call me up like we're still living together. Oh, can I ask you this question? <laughs> I, is he sane now? Absolutely. Is he really? Yeah. Why don't you ask him? By the way, Danny, if you're listening, pick up the phone and call me, baby. <laughs> uh, I called him actually when he was uh, in some personal uh, trouble recently, um, last year. I yeah. will shame him that he did not return your call. What is that? Rude. You know. It's rude, Danny Bonaduce. Hello, Danny Bonaduce. It's rude. It's rude. <laughs> All right, I got to tell you, Cassidy, if you're going to go on TV and air your dirty laundry, I think that's despicable, it's immoral, it's beneath contempt, and it's also my job. <laughs> How dare he? Excuse me. Coming up. Wow, shake it off. Coming Welcome back to TV Water Cooler. I'm Teresa Strasser. I'm here with David Cassidy. Yeah. I have a few covers of TV Guide that you may remember. Well. Oh, yeah. I remember, remember that one. one. Yes, I do. That was 1971. <laughs> that was me in concert probably at Madison Square Garden or somewhere. Uh, I was on the cover Madison many Square times. Garden. Yeah. Listen, in show business, there are certain benchmarks. There's selling out Madison Square Garden, mm -hmm. and then there's doing the cooler quiz on TV Water Cooler here at TV Guide. It's there. And it's just under Madison Square Garden. I got it. Okay. Are you prepared for your cooler quiz? <sighs> I don't know. My palms are starting to sweat. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, ready? Uh-huh. Favorite Partridge family song? I think I love you. Did it annoy you that you were the only partridge with actual musical talent? <laughs> yeah. I, the first time I had to tell Danny not to strum the bass, yeah. <laughs> yes. You're supposed to pick the bass, yeah, yes. Yeah, when you're a real musician, you're playing with uh, Suzanne Crow playing the triangle. <laughs> Please. And why was Danny Bonaduce's bass so large? Because he was so small. <laughs> what was the best thing about being a teen idol? Not being one. You're tricking me. No, no. I absolutely 
resented it. You hated it. I hated it. I never wanted to have the label. There was no best thing about it. The only thing I can say is that I, the fact that I brought happiness to people and made people uh, laugh and made them enjoy what I did, made had an impact on them, that's a beautiful thing. And that they're fortunately still out there and love what I do, it's a great thing. Last question. Mm -hmm. Did you ever get my fan letter? Of course I did. In fact, I just happened to have it. Right <laughs> <laughs> it's the one with cut out letters from magazines. You wrote that one? That was from me. Oh, wow. That, Teresa, I got it. Yikes. I understand when I'm being rejected. It's okay. Okay? Yeah. I got it. I love you now, though. You think you love me. I think I love you. What are you so afraid of? <gasps> I'm afraid I'm not sure of. <laughs> <laughs> a love there is. No cure for. Thank you. No. Uh, that, that's about a wrap, isn't it? That's it.